Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Julie. If you love thrift flips, thrift hauls, home decor ideas, you are in the right place. Today, I have a thrift haul for, for y'all. This is from the past week, just from different thrift stores, garage sales, and an estate sale. And of course, I went to Kilgore's maybe once or twice. So we'll save the Kilgore's for last. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got, what I paid for it, and what are my plans to do with it. I thrifted these two lamps for a dollar. This one is made out of wood and look how pretty and spindly it is. I'm gonna turn this into a candlestick. We're gonna take it apart, add some different pieces to it. If you haven't seen that done before, I will be doing it for sure on an upcoming thrift flip. And then this one, I think it's made out of ceramic. It does look like wood, but it's not. It's heavy. It feels like stone, almost concrete. So it does have a lot of texture here. So I'm thinking of doing the full cement look on this one, and that would be very pretty. Look at this light fixture that I thrifted. $35, this was on the garage sale. It was a little bit later in the morning. She had $40 on it. So I asked her what was her best price and she said she could do 35. So I'm like, deal. It comes from Home Depot. It had never been used and I'm going to put it in my foyer. There is a light there now, but I think it's way too small for the space. And I really think I wanna go with all rounded of light fixtures for my main light fixtures like for the one in my dining room the one in my foyer the one in my living room i all want them to be round and i all want them to be the same finish so this will definitely get painted i am thinking of doing like an aged bronze look and i think that will tie in nicely with everything that i have going on already i'm going with lots of matte black finishes Lots of wood, lots of white, and I think bringing in that aged bronze look will be great. And the great thing about painting all your light fixtures is you have so many more options. I can thrift all my light fixtures. I don't need to worry about what the finish is because I'm going to be doing my own finish on it. So if y'all want, let me know. I can do this on a thrift flip video so y'all can see exactly how I decide to do a paint finish on this. But I think this is gonna look really, really pretty in my foyer, so I definitely wanna get it done soon so I can get it hung up. Y'all, I paid $1 for this chair. Look how cute it is. Of course, this is gonna be a decorative chair. I'm gonna put it in the corner somewhere and put something cute on it, but yes, for a dollar, I had to get it. I had to, it's so, pretty and it actually is pretty sturdy if you know one of the kids sat on and it's not going to break it's not that fragile but i mean look how good it looks with my decor right if you watched my last thrift haul video i bought a lot of baskets and <laughs> apparently i did that again i didn't notice at the time but once i got everything together i was like girl you bought a lot of baskets again. <laughs> but I have to say, I have been using the vast majority of the baskets I've been thrifting, so I'm okay with that. They're not sitting up in a closet somewhere. They're getting used around my house. So this one, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it has a wooden base. It's a very like thick weave, super nice. I mean, I just had to get it. I think I paid 50 cents for this one at a garage sale, and at the same garage sale, I picked up this basket. I just liked how long it was. I liked the texture on it. I like that it had two little handles. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but for 50 cents, it was cute and it will find a home in my house. <laughs> I've been picking up all the hanging baskets that I've been finding and I've been using them. They just are so great all around the house. They're perfect because you can sit them on the shelf. You can hang them up. You can hang them on the side of a chair. Absolutely door. Ooh, on the back of a chair. That would be cute too. So this one was also just a dollar, I believe. Super cute. And then this one, same thing. It can sit on the shelf. It can hang up. I do not like the color of this. So this definitely needs to get a little bit of age. It's way too bright and new looking for me. But these are so popular and so expensive in the stores right now. This big lunch basket was only a dollar. The top definitely has some issues. I'm thinking I might just take off the top and just leave the bottom because it's really big. I like the shape. 
And I don't know if y'all seen Ginger Chick's newest video where she kind of embellishes some baskets. And I've also seen Jamie Ray Vintage do it uh, recently as well. I think that would be a very cute idea on some of these more square baskets that I have. And I'll um, leave a link to those videos in the description below if y'all want to check out what, what they did with their um, baskets. But that was kind of my idea. It was a dollar. Um, and I just felt like I could give it a new life. So I don't have a clear vision for this one yet, but we're going to do something fun with it. The next things I'm going to show y'all is from an estate sale that popped up on Sunday. <laughs> so I was very excited, estate sale and on a Sunday, you know, as if I can thrift the whole weekend, that is my jam. So I got this round basket and I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. So you see my lavender basket right there that I created on a thrift flip video. I feel like it needs to go away. It's fall now and I need to create a fall version. I wanted the perfect round basket to do that. And this is it. It was actually covered with seashells. It was full. The whole thing was full of seashells. And I'm like, oh, I really, really want that basket. Is it okay if I take the seashells out? And they like, yes. So got it. Oh, I see it has some little holes. No big deal. But yeah, this is going to be probably on a video coming soon because it needs to go right there. It'll be cute, I think. And do a fall version of the lavender basket. And look how pretty this is. Oh, that's going to look amazing hanging on the wall somewhere in my house. I don't know where, but <laughs> it'll go somewhere. And then I got this little basket trio. How cute is it? They all have lids and I'm thinking I'm going to put this in my master bedroom because my husband's been complaining in Louisiana. We have the cotton balls, the Q-tips and the little face pads all out on the counter but I haven't found anything cute to put out on the counter. So they're all in a drawer and he doesn't like that extra step to go in a drawer and I have to admit, I don't like it either. So I'm thinking these would be cute. I, I like something glass. That's how I have in Louisiana. I haven't found anything yet. So I'm thinking these would be good to put some Q-tips and some cotton balls. And since my um, bathroom is gonna be very white, this will add a little bit of texture. And maybe later on when I am thrifting, I will find the perfect glass. Um, I like the apothecary jars. Those are very cute to put all your stuff in out on the counter. I got this beautiful blue enamel picture. It is coming out much. Okay, this is like the real color of it. When I get close to the camera, it's very bright. It's not, it's like a pretty, very pretty blue. And I also got all of these wooden spoons and utensils and yes they are already aged and perfect it's kind of sad too like this it was an estate sales you know so this lady spent her whole life like cooking with all these utensils and everything i mean you can tell they've been used and loved so i got them i'm not going to use them but i am going to love them so pretty and I got these little old um, kitchen gadgets. I love, I just love that kind of stuff. This is a sifter. This one has a long handle, which I don't see very often. They usually have the handle right here. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then I don't know what this is. So I'm not even going to guess because I don't know, but y'all can tell me. It looks like you would put something in here and then kind of turn it for it to like crunch up and come out. So I thought this was so, so pretty. I, I don't remember seeing one like this before. Um, and I also got something for little Rennie Lou. I wish I would have videotaped me giving it to her because when I saw this doll, I'm like, this looks like Ren. And when I gave it to her, you could tell that she thought the same thing. She was so excited. Okay, it has a wonky eye, kind of like Ren, right? Anyway, she's been loving this baby doll. She wanted to put on a blue dress and do a little photo shoot after I gave it to her. It was so, so sweet. I actually sent the people a picture of her with the baby doll just so that they would know that, you know, it was going to be loved in my home as well. So I love estate sales, but there's definitely, you know, something a little sad about them too. And if I can, I like to let the family know that the pieces that are purchased will definitely be loved in their new home. So at that state sale, that's everything that I got. Y'all paid 
five dollars for all of that so it was a great deal and i am very excited about the stuff that i got at that sale okay now let's talk about kilgore so if you don't know what kilgore is it's just a local antique shop in my town that i am obsessed with because they always have exactly what i am looking for i am going to tell y'all what i paid but just remember that they are an antique store and not a thrift store and he usually gives me a pretty good deal because y'all are amazing and y'all have been going shopping there and letting him know that you found out about it from me so you know he kind of gives me a little appreciation discount so i appreciate that when y'all let him know um i mean that's not why i advertise this place i advertise it because I love it and his family is great. The only bad thing is that when I go over there, I end up talking to them for about an hour because it, it is just the nicest family that owns this little antique shop. All right, so I got my farmhouse harvest table built for my dining room and I've been contemplating what kind of chairs I want. And I was thinking I was just gonna go get black chairs from Ikea and that would be fine. But then I thought, what if I do some antique chairs? They don't necessarily need to match, but just be similar. So I just decided to go to Kilgore's just to get this idea out of my brain. I wanted to see what they have and see if this would work. So I went there on Friday, I believe, and I went look at her chairs, y'all. I wish I'd have a video of this. They have chairs hanging from the ceilings. There's chairs everywhere. It was very overwhelming i did find four chairs that i like but i need eight so i told him i was like look i'm just gonna think about it i just i was overwhelmed and i could not make a decision at that point but of course i had to look around so i did pick up some stuff on friday when i went there and i paid 40 dollars for all the stuff that i'm about to show you look at this it's a beautiful scale it is wrought iron and I thought that this would look amazing on my nightstand that I just made in the last video because the base is wrought iron. And so I thought it would kind of tie in. So that's exactly where I put it. I put it on my nightstand and I put one of those little birds that I thrifted um, a few weekends ago and it looks so cute. So I definitely paid up for this piece, but I just thought it was beautiful and special. And sometimes you got to splurge on a few items. I get thrifty where I can, and then if there's something that I really like, then I'll pay up for it, and that's fine. Also, do y'all remember in my last haul where I dropped all the little glass light fixtures that I had bought? Well, I'm glad that happened because when I went to Kilgore's, they had a ton, and look how pretty this is. So this is going in the girls' bathroom, and it just reminds me of like a little girl twirling her skirt. I'm just obsessed. I love, love, love this. So yes, I was excited. It's kind of vintage-y, but kind of modern at the same time. I don't know. I like it. Okay, these are not vintage, but we do not have a CB2 store around here. And when I saw these, I just had to have them. So they are little glass, like test tube base looking things. They have a hole in the back, so they hang on the wall. And then you could put some floral in it. How cute. I bought both of them that he had. And it still has a tag on it that it was from CB2. Love this. I don't know where it's gone. It's just going to stay in my stash for now until I find a perfect place. I'm still, you know, decorating and all that. So... When I come across stuff that I really, really like, I definitely pick it up and it will find a home. Then I got these two very beautiful wooden bases. This one does have an opening at the top so you can put floral in it and this one does not. So he had no clue what this is from, what this is. So if y'all know what this wooden bottle is, that is solid wood. Let me know, but I thought they looked so cute together and I'll find something to put in the front. He did say he had a bigger one that he sold earlier in the week. Missed it. Man, these are cute. And I'm going to 
really put these on my mantle. My mantle's not decorated. It's still sitting up there with the stuff from my last thrift lift video or two thrift lift videos ago. I don't know. So I'm definitely going to start working on decorating my mantle. I want these to go up there. And I'm thinking I want like a... Let me show y'all what my mantle looks like. Okay. So I think that I want to do a vintage landscape print over here. I know I don't want a mirror because I don't want it reflecting the ugly fan that's up there right now that will eventually be a chandelier and the popcorn ceilings and all that. So mirror out, no, not happening. I don't want a family print because I just don't want that. We can put family pictures somewhere else. I want a moody landscape print. So I'm thinking I'm going to check Etsy for some digital downloads that I can get printed to the size that I want. I can pick out the perfect landscape vintagey print. That's kind of the direction I'm going in. Um, I think some greens and some natural colors will just really look great in the space. So if you have a favorite Etsy seller that has this kind of stuff, Put a link in the description below. So, I mean, put a link in the comments below so that I can go check out that page because I'm pretty sure that's the direction that I'm going to go in. I need to wrap up this video because the sun's getting kind of bright. <laughs> so anyway, I went home and thought about the chairs that I saw at Kilgore's. I took pictures. I looked on Pinterest. I wanted to look at tables that all the chairs matched and tables that had mismatched chairs. And I really like the tables with mismatched chairs, but only if they were similar. I didn't like it when they were different colors or different heights. So I wanted the chairs to kind of be similar. And what threw me off is that Kilgore's didn't have eight. But when I had a minute to think about it, I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter. I can start picking up the chairs that I really like and collect them over time. I just started looking, you know, so I'm sure in my travels, I will find more chairs. So I went back to Kilgore's the next day and he only charged me $15 per chair. I'm positive they cost more than that, but I was very grateful for the deal he gave me. So I got four chairs, but they each are a pair. So I think I'm gonna stick with that where I'm at least try to get two of each chair that I like. That way, you know, they can be across from each other and be the same. And I got home and put them in the space and this was definitely the right decision. So for this area, I'm definitely going for a primitive farmhouse look. Not overall in the house. My house overall is a very, I would say eclectic look just because I mishmash so many different styles together and just, make it work you know so look i always take eight of these if you would add eight of these this one's my absolute favorite it has all the spindles look how pretty so what i want is i want spindles here and i want a flat top i don't want any round tops i want it to look like this and i want it to be a brown tone now some of the seats like need some help. So initially my idea was to do a black wash on them just to make all the tones look the same. But now that I got them in the space, I am absolutely loving the brown tones. So what I think I might do is I might just do an antique wash on them. My antique wax that I do in all my videos do that on the chairs as well and then throw you know a ceiling wax on them because look at the base of this one so yeah i don't want them too roughed up like i want them to be vintage but it it has some damage that needs to be dealt with so i'm gonna wait until i have all the chairs and then decide what i'm gonna do with them but right now i am very happy with my decision to get these different chairs. So I have four already, and now I'm on the hunt for four more. I'm thinking the ones on the end, maybe even do a higher top, that might look great. I'll know it when I see it. And I might pick up some chairs just to make do for now if I find some that are kind of similar and cheap, and then upgrade later on. So the great thing about thrifting is sometimes you know, you find stuff and you're like, okay, that'll do. And then later on, you find something that's like, that makes your heart skip a beat and you just have to have it. And that's the wonderful thing about thrifting. So it's like, you know what? I could get chairs right now that work 
and later on when I find those perfect pairs, then the other ones, you know, they get the chopping block and we're gonna turn them into something else, right? They'll be on the third flip. <laughs> so that's the plan. This dining room is definitely coming along. Um, I know I'm not showing y'all like a full version of it. Once I have it all together, I'm gonna do a really great video. And also I'm thinking for this right here, I have this door that we don't even use. I'm thinking about putting curtains on it as well. I didn't think about it while I was doing a drop cloth curtains, but that door is ugly. I really want to cover it up. So I think that's going to get some curtains too. Do y'all put curtains on y'all doors? I don't normally, but I feel that one, since we don't use it, I think it might be okay. And that is everything that I purchased this week. I feel like I talked a lot on this video, but I know a lot of y'all want to come along on this journey as I decorate this home from scratch. So I really want to show y'all what I got, what my plans are for it, you know, because I haven't done a video yet of a full room design because this is how the process works for me to decorate. It takes a long time. I have to look for these items. I have to love them. I have to have a vision for them and then bring it all together. So y'all let me know what y'all think about the direction that I am going for in this home. And if you love hanging out with me and just chit chatting, I do wanna let y'all know that I have a YouTube membership group. It is $6.99 a month. And what you get is you get two live hangouts with me. We do it on Wednesdays one Wednesday in the afternoon and one Wednesday at night. Y'all, I sound so Cajun when I say the word Wednesday. I need to work on that. <laughs> but um, yes, it's $6.99. Two, you get two live videos with me. If you can't catch the live, you can always see the replay. And I usually do a giveaway as well once a month with all the channel members. And some of them, they know they'll never be able to make it for a live and they just, join just to give me a little tip every month because they've either made money from my ideas or my ideas have saved money saved them money so that is totally cool too and i definitely appreciate it it's just a different way to support my channel i appreciate y'all watching i enjoy hanging out with y'all and i especially love our live channel membership hangouts where we can interact on a more personal level Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video.